Hello everybody, welcome to the winner's bracket. <laughs> Here we have Hiru versus Inarian. And it looks like Inarian has won the toss and elected to receive. Sorry, I must. I, I I completely lost myself there. I was uh, I was simply celebrating silently my introduction. In the booth with me is Andy Davo. Hello, Andy Davo. Great to have you here. I've I've actually got no idea what PC's accent sounds like. I'm just trying to sound vaguely posh and vaguely deep. I, I do apologise, purple chest. So, um, it could also be Hellboy, basically the same person as far as I'm concerned. Right, Hiru has got uh, Dwarves with four block, a mighty blow, and a block. That's kind of what I went for the, uh, for the other one, right, except for the NAF kickoff, except uh, I, I actually preferred going four guard and no block with two runners. Hiru only has the one runner, so if, if uh, Inarian can nail it, he's happy days. And I kind of hate having a Mighty Blow, not a Mighty Blow Tackler. And I also kind of hate not having Guard on the other Blitzer. So lots of things I don't like about Hiru, but, you know, and not sorry, not Hiru, Hiru's build. But Hiru went through, won all of his games in the play-ins, and obviously won his first round here. So, you know, fair play. He's obviously, he's, I mean, he, is, he is a great player, and he's doing pretty great. And... Uh, and then in Aryan, he's got four block, two tackle. The two tackle completely worthless. But this is a pretty good racial matchup, right? And he's got the block troll to punch things. And the sneaky git is also a bit useless. So he's basically got three useless skills. Uh, the sneaky git is not going to be good. It's not useless, but it's not good this match. But I, w I wasn't looking forward to this day. I, I ragged on Blackhawks quite a lot. and I w But I was not looking forward to this match if, uh, if I was to ever face an Aryan after, certainly after slagging off his team. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give me. Oh, look at this, guys! Glorious. What an amazing I, I sub! It's from Malatans himself! <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Taxi for Savage! <laughs> There's my Adam Savage impression. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Welcome to Team Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it wasn't. It was a gift one. Okay, uh, disregard completely. Thank you, stupid puppy. <laughs> but there you go. Thank you. Thank you, stupid puppy. Brilliant. Flip me. I don't know what you mean about me, me, me. Oh my god, Hellboy's misspell tree is incredible, isn't it? Flip me. Taxi for Jim. <laughs> uh, Andy is here, he's just eating at the moment. Uh, if, yeah, in case you're I've, I've just finished actually. Uh, oh. I put the spoon down and uh, we, we're good. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's an armor break, isn't it, with the blood? And. Yep. He, the, the, actually, the thick skull does not have an effect. Raining again for Inari, and he had rain versus uh, Crystal Hunter, which was obviously an absolute nightmare, scaven in the rain, but he managed to come through that test. The rain shouldn't be such a such a, a bad uh, thing in this game. Oh, my brain is frazzled. <laughs> Absolutely frazzled. Should we call it rain? To be fair, like with your computer graphics, should we should we call it drizzle? Drizzle, yeah, light drizzle here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was quite nice being able to see the rain on the official cast. It it wasn't actually that bad. The the official cast, like you know, the the having the graphics all set to max, like it it does make it brighter, but I guess not that much brighter. So maybe I could have the graphics on full again. I just I, I just put it for readability. Oh wow, here we go. Instant dub skulls. Uses the reroll, gets the pow. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic to be there. <laughs> oh my god. That would have been genius to me. <laughs> wow. So I mean he's got a he's got he hasn't done the blitz yet, has he? So he, he's got a block and a blitz here. Yeah, blocking a blitz, yeah. 
and he's got tackles to abuse. <laughs> yeah, because you, you just chase the tackles, don't you? Get, that gives you the man advantage, and then this game, actually, you can unpick this. Yeah. And any time a goblin's presented, then you can slam it in the head. Yep. Yeah, it's a big difference, isn't it? This is the problem with, like, not, you know, we were, I think we were talking about it, about having, like, a guard Saurus, in, in that now this guard Saurus is the one who's targeted, like, you know, he's hit about 16 times, right? They're, they're going to constantly go for the guy who hasn't got a block, and exactly the same with these tackle guys. They're, they're just, of course, this is the target for uh, for Hero every chance he gets. And the, the tackle was decent versus uh, Chunter, but I don't know, maybe his block would have just been as good. Who knows? Who knows? Hello, Chunta. Your game has not been watched yet. Uh, it was not on the official cast. Um, so, what's going to happen is I might do them all as replays, like over the Monday and the Tuesday or whatever, all the ones that weren't covered. Because um, there'll be quite a few weren't actually weren't covered. We like, yeah. There was like eight in the first round, wasn't there? So like, and then was there four and four? Right. So there were sixteen games today. I mean, including it's including this. Got the thing open anymore? But I think so. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Four people won two. Four people lost two. So every, and everyone played two. So sixteen yeah. games. So that's, that's already a lot to do with replays. <laughs> oh, I guess they weren't today, this week, and I've already done about five or six of them, so it's... Yeah, they, they weren't all done today. Yeah. <sighs> Cobble block? Yeah, it was, it was indeed 16 today. Yeah. <clears throat> though, not, th though not all today, right? So we'd, like, we'd done a few early, hadn't we? So... I think oh, yeah. there's about five or six already on the YouTube, so there'll only be a few not covered. Not too many not covered. There's definitely an advantage in not playing both games today if you can avoid it. Yes. Um, so if they do this again, they need to just go, these are the stream times. They are the times you're playing. Yes. Because, yeah, I wouldn't play two again if I could choose. No, exactly. It was uh, that was what Elliot was complaining about. You know, like he he told the truth and said that he could play on the on the Saturday. But you know, had he said that he couldn't play on the Saturday, he could have arranged it earlier. And then it, you know, it's obviously a lot more, a lot more, uh, just a big advantage not having to go back to back games and stuff. Oh my goodness! What a huge foul! Dead, dead, dead! Oh God, is it? No, nah, I think it's a rookie. Yeah, rookie. But oh, and he's sent off. Bribery and corruption still fails. But hey, you know he got he got a Kaz. That's a fine trade, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame it wasn't a guard from Enarin's point of view. But now the dwarves are now capped at eleven. But anything else he gets rid of now sticks. Yeah. Yeah. These relentless troll blocks. You know, try and target the um, slayers and try and. Bang them out. Or the runner. That's the other one, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, oh, obviously the runner. I mean, the runner, you win the game, don't you, almost? If you take him out. But I would assume he will not get to hit the runner. But yeah, I mean, it's massive, massive mistake if... Or like, you know, dice if Hiru lets the runner get hit. He should, he should absolutely <laughs> never let the runner get hit. It's good, I think, I mean, I, I don't know how confirmed anything is or how much I could say if it was or wasn't confirmed but <laughs> as somebody who thinks things as a human being i would think that they wouldn't have these after every season they, i think they actually did say something about yeah, they, they'll uh, have normal playoffs you know like run by the old I, admin I, team i'm happy to pile in on this one knowing more uh, or knowing stuff and they've, they've said that this is not going to happen every season um there was going to be an announcement or what is going to happen at the end of season three, and they have already confirmed that it is not the same as the end of season at the end of this current season. That's that's in the public domain. I, I know that exists. Fantastic. Um, I, I I suspect being a human being and you know, suspecting things. There we go. That's that's, that's how you cover this, right? Yeah. Um, that, <laughs> that that it is a reasonable uh, assertion that we might see one of these every every year. Yes. Oof. Got away with it. 
provided they think it's gone all right and stuff, isn't it? And what, yes, what, one of these max, I guess, Pia, and then um, you know, like various qualification things, not just the ladder, like so, like you know, you'd have like ladder and then other ways of qualifying as well. I think that's what, I think that's the sort of thing that makes sense. That's what they had for the World Cup, didn't they? The World Cup, they had multiple ways of qualifying, so I'd imagine more like a World Cup kind of thing um, every year. What, what we saw was not what they wanted to do. Um, I probably can't say what they did want to do, but I know, ooh, but I do know that what what we've what we've been given wasn't their original plan. Mm -hmm. Their original plan was, let's say, more yeah, more complex and probably a lot a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, but for time constraints and stuff, we had a, a, a chopped down version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Tuk Tuk, like uh, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't like uh, bullshitting any of the stuff on, on the cast today. I do think it's, I think it's fantastic, and I think it's great for, for like, oh my god, <laughs> nice oh. brawler, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> oh, Shit, <dear>. brawler shop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have taken block. No, look, I, I, I've been. I'm, I'm just saying this to me, man, and Ari, uh, and you know, I, I, I mocked the, the, the tackle choices, but the, you know, they, they did pay off versus, versus uh, Chunter at least, and like you know, that, that matchup is, and, and versus Olivier Delac probably. So like that matchup is so terrible that I guess it is worth taking them. But I don't know, man. I think I'd just take six block, well, seven block, including the troll, just go full. Uh, Full lizard man style. I think. I think there's also something to be sort of set. If you're going to do this, you could also take six six guard and a and a block troll. If you were, if you were really insane, right? Um, mm. And and you've kind of got to be a little bit <laughs> deliberately playing. I don't want to use the word insane, but deliberately playing not the meta because you're you're playing this in the first place, right? The, the, the smart money was on things like underworld, um, and probably lizards. I, I think. Yeah. If you were if you were being really really careful about it, I just hate both of the races. So that was not why. I, mean, I was never picking either of those. Yeah, I I didn't pick lizards because of the bad match versus the best team. That's a, like you know underworld the best team, but I hadn't played them enough to be confident that I would get the most out of them. So not that I mean I don't care about hating anything, you know. I'd, I would I would definitely play what gave me the best chance. But then I just thought because I'm going to be bad with Underworld, or maybe he's not as good with Underworld as I could be. Um, I thought don't bother with them. And then lizards were like, well, you know, why pick a team knowing that Art's going to take Underworld, and and you know knowing that Elliot's probably the biggest threat to win it. Like that that's two of the two of the big threats are taking Underworld. So like. And, and if you qualify, oh my God, there's the Kaz oh. without Mighty Blow. Um, knowing, you know, knowing one of the 16 is guaranteed to be Art, and then knowing that Elliot's very likely to be another one of the 16, I just thought I'll take my chances on, on not qualifying to uh, be in with Dwarves if I'm in. Um, but, you know, like, it, it's, it's weird. It does suck that, like, Dwarves are so bad against Lizardmen, like, just so unbelievably terrible versus Lizardmen. But... You know what can you do at the end of the day? I, I, I just thought people shouldn't have taken lizard men because it loses to underworld. So if other people yeah. do their job for me <laughs> and not take it, then it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. And Arian's had some good dice, hasn't he, so far this tournament, and uh, it's continuing. Yeah, it's uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's 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 hammering these dwarves. Mm. But, you know, I mean, I was scared. I was scared of this matchup. Like, you know, at the end of the day, the, the you know, dwarves do terribly against lizards, and these are nearly a lizard man team, aren't they? They're just a, a bit worse than lizard men. But lizard men are so ridiculously insane that uh, being a little bit worse than lizard men is still plenty good enough to beat dwarves. And yet, if if black orcs are just worse lizard men, and lizard men have a really bad matchup against underworld. That's got to mean that Black Orcs just suck versus <laughs> um, um, Underworld. God, I'm tired. Oh, my word. Yeah. Brain just switched off. Yeah, my brain was switching off before this, before this started. Um, yeah, so the thing about Lizards is um, 
I don't think it's that bad, right? Like it's not it's not an unwinnable matchup versus Underworld. I just don't think it's a, I think it's a bad matchup rather than unwinnable or anything. Whereas Dwarves versus Lizards is is verging on unwinnable. Like you have to have the other person play not good, I'd say, for, to you know, or, or get very lucky to to stand a chance. I don't think it's that bad for Lizards as as uh, I don't think Underworld is bad for Lizards as Lizards are for Dwarves. Yeah, I, I can't speak English here. This is this is rough. It's all <laughs> two dice on the ball. It, he's left two dice on the ball. Um... The troll's stupid. If if he takes the not uh, the the goblin down. So, go, goblin next to the troll, take that down, block it, and then walk through the square. Um, oh a, no, no, there's a, no! There's, there's a, a tackle zone there. No, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Disregard, errata, errata, errata. Back out. How do you sense lizards to fix them? The the problem with lizards is you you kind of can't fix them for NAF, right? Because they've been fixed for progression, like progression that they're no longer a force, right? They, they've they've got to start with one reroll if they start with the crocs, and it takes them a long while to skill up the the saurus, and then you've got like um, what's it called redraft. So it, so even when they get those skills, it takes them ages to get them, and then redraft takes them away anyway and stuff. So like by by the seasonal cost. So like all of progression is like focused on dealing with lizards really and uh, and and but then naf is just the same it's still six block it's still you know enough they've, they've increased the the money for everybody haven't they and like that's made it kind of too much money for for dwarves but like you know then the perfect amount for lizard man what well, one of the things I'm, we're starting to see a lot at naf tournaments now is that th well i say it's a lot you're starting to see 1100 and up to, to try and curb um, dwarves, undead, Amazons, because those three are just ridiculously cheap. <laughs> and then um, the, the teams like Necro that absolutely need 1155 before they're even probably viable, they're now they're now being given a, it's cash and tears, which is great. Mm. The Euro Bowl this year, the Necro get just for vanilla, they can have 12 men, three re rolls, eight skills. No doubles, but eight normal skills. Yeah, cool. It's pretty good. That, that's it? what I'm taking then. <laughs> right there, we go. Fixed. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of the GG tour one where <laughs> where the Necro's got just the right amount to to, <laughs> to make a good team. That was pretty good. <laughs> Remarkable, that wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no idea what happened there. Um, I, I didn't write the Euroball roster just so we're clear, right? That, that, that's it's definitely coincidence this time round. <laughs> I think he just dodges from the Slayer here because he he wants to he it's wants the penetration up through here, doesn't he? Way. It's not way. It's true. It's penetration. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's properly what it's called. There's nothing rude about penetration. Okay. So he's going to insert himself very heavily down the right flank. I understand. I thought he would, but he's gone for the blitz back. Interesting. Giving up the chance of penetration. Never thought I'd see that from Inarian. Block saves him. Almost a little bit surprised there. He didn't go. Oh no, he couldn't. He couldn't do it. No, never mind. I thought he would have done the um, the, the north one first to create that for it to be three, but it was just never a thing. No, 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 because the guard, the guard stopped it. And I guess oh. this is showing why that they're, they're they're struggling because, yeah. Although the dwarves here um, have kind of slowed them down, these horrible one for one trades all over the place. The dwarves can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, the the thing, I'm surprised about that reroll honestly. But I guess there's only three turns left, so I thought you could afford it. The the thing that the the that the black orcs hit have here is that they can't like burst through like like a skink would be here wouldn't he and then it's insane and then he could geofy to here like he can't he doesn't have that burst through that lizards that lizards can do so like lizards will torment the dwarves like this and then just punch through in one turn and be miles ahead like the the black oak are gonna have to go through like take two turns to punch through so i wouldn't have hated the blitz there and the dodge off but then obviously he won in nine with this guy so i guess he didn't want to risk Losing the match one out of nine times, completely reasonable. <laughs> oh, 
is he going to try and do here, do you think? Is he going to take out the tackle and then be able to move that uh, player in the middle? Or is he going to try and take out the fight for this forward big, uh, Black Orc? Or just get in the way and wait and find out what, what's going to happen? I think he's going to 1D here because he's not got block. <laughs> I would have thought that anyway. And then, uh, and then, yeah, see what happens. Maybe try and rescue the runner. Really want to rescue the runner. Runner blitz just to pull him back. Maybe. You you could also also double tag with the two free players. Go on, tag the 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 black orc. Um, blitz with a runner one d. Then you've got a runner free. And um, and how exactly are the orcs going to advance next turn? And they have to go forward next turn. Mm. So just take a turn where you you suck it up a little bit, but they're not going anywhere. Or the potatoing. Glorious potato. Yeah. Cruz has already beaten the hardest opponent. That's very true to me. Unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. Elliot's already out. Shocking. Or oh, maybe he's going to just two blitz him with a guard and then bring the guard back out. Yeah, this is pretty decent, isn't it? And then he frees the the blitzer up there. Yeah. And then I guess he can just dodge the runner or dodge a one D with a runner. This is okay. He's still got people to go back. I think I, I think I dodged the runner here because there's less advantage to to keeping the runner there and 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 making that not a two D than there is getting him back and being able to respond to whatever the orcs do because yeah. at the moment you're looking like a say the troll's going to run forward the big one's going to run forward the black one's going to run forward and then he's going to blitz with the tackle on the slayer I presume to get that other player up mm. that gives you three the troll's not got to not go stupid here got to it's interesting isn't it I, 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 yeah I think he always had to dodge I mean the the, the only thing is he's got one re-roll and like the 1D's a 2+, two, a two plus, whereas that's a 3+, plus. but I think uh, yeah, I think he's always going to do that being in the right square I think yeah what happened in the Elliot Crucifer game? Like br broadly, I because I, I was playing, so I didn't get to see it. But I can't believe Elliot didn't win that one. We like, didn't see it. We didn't see it. Um, oh, oh, he's in chat. Elliot, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Recount your misery for us. Uh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Oh, he didn't dacker. Oh, Elliot. Lesson learned. Comedy. Why maker. did you not dacker? Uh, dacker there was it because of all the stand firm and the control skills? Or do you just and no roger, isn't it? No, no jugs roger. Like maybe with a jugs roger, it's different. But yeah, kill the stun firm for the one turn. Yeah, the lack of jugs roger. Yeah. No, does that mean Nick Dimmy's going to say knobs are OP again? I think he might. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think you should have still duck it. Oh, that's his last re oh, uh, No, it's a block. It's a block because he can brawler. So this is... Uh, he could brawler it. Oh. And it's... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, he so used he the team re-roll. He used the re-roll and <laughs> it was still another one in nine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, might see a hit on the ball here. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm quite tired, so I'm not sure if it's there. But maybe it's there. With With tackle, maybe. I, I don't know, I think maybe the Slayer, right? Because then you push him up into the tackle. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably best. Yeah, that's, that's better, isn't it? Six dice. Possibly even nine. Um, yeah, m oh, yeah, even dice. more, yeah. Because you hit there, two, four, eight, yeah, oodles, ten, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> twelve, <that's eight>. right. <laughs> fourteen, <laughs> sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, lots. <laughs> His whole team can punch him nearly. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will uh, defend. see any of that. <laughs> I will defend. He Brilliant. needs two. <laughs> he needs two. <laughs> and he caught the ball! <laughs> Actually, the, the stun there is really annoying, right? Because it stops him dodging through. It means he's got to try and block one of these guys. That actually was a bit annoying, the, 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 the stun there. But, uh, Although Anari is out of rerolls, so you just tag everything and say, 
Go on then, four plus me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but it's still slightly annoying. Yeah, slightly. You know. He got given a big wadge of fifties, and it's too heavy to carry. Damn. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Goliath, for giving us sub to Elliot. Elliot the legend. I'm not an expert, but I think the Blackhawks are in trouble. Yeah, does look like it a bit, doesn't it? In, in all seriousness, though, although the Dwarves have gone down to 10, haven't they? How many of the um, Orcs got left? Because you, you're going to go 1-0 down, but you've not really lost anything. Yeah, not so too bad. 12. It's still fixable. It is. But he really wishes he had block, though, doesn't he, now? on these guys that have been <laughs> constantly knocked over, they've used two, two re-rolls and made two massive turnovers because of having tackle instead of block. But, you know, they did do, they did do good things against, uh, against Chunter. Slayer TD, yeah, this is, I mean, he's just got to dodge, right? He's just got to... This one dodges. And then the, smashes The only the other thing you could possibly do, although well, I don't like it, is troll dodge, bl uh, sorry, troll blitz, and then you go and stand next to the Slayer. Mm. I don't like it very much, but it, it's it's another option. I don't like it. Not an option for me. I think that's maybe an, a, an option in ladder, right? When, when you're up against somebody who isn't as good. But I think in these games, I think those kind of plays just aren't good enough. I just think you have to do. I just think you have to do, you go for the ball. I think oh you have God. to go for the ball to plays here. Um, yeah, not not such a dicing in an Aryan's favour this game. <laughs> no. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So... I don't think very much time that the mental side of this gets picked up, which is that so, yeah, a lot of people will be looking at this going, well, it's ruined, that's the use that word. Um, and, and and people can just let their heads drop and, and go, well, it's, it's over. I don't think it is over here. If, if you if you were an Orion, yes, you won 0 down, but actually you could easily force this into overtime. You just need to turn the dwarves over and they've only got 10 players. Like, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, it, I, don't, I don't know, Doug, the dog. It was unlikely. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. It was unlikely. But, um... And Arian has him right where he wants him. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's, it, yeah, like your game, wasn't it? It was like your game, honestly, earlier today versus Art, right? The first half, it, it looked really grim for, for Art, didn't it? And then, yeah. and then you know, the second half, Dakar, it's one-one, and then obviously overtime the, the, is when the insane dice happened, and then it's completely switched. Yeah. So, yeah, I needed to, I needed that matchup to avoid nonsense like that, and it, and then in the overtime it didn't. Yeah. Um, which is a shame. But it shows kind of how how far ahead his team is versus Orcs. I mean, that's insanity. <laughs> Underworld Orcs, and and I'm considerably further behind. Mm. It's not over, no. I mean, you've you've got to imagine that you know games are going overtime a, a big amount of the time, and obviously that is normally by you know the offense succeeding in their drive. But it's it's not unusual to uh, to do the other ones where both sides turn over. So no, this is this is fine. You can win in overtime, no problem. I mean, it is a problem, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Massive problem. <laughs> you're losing 1-0. You're probably out, but you know, no problem. <laughs> well, not out. This is the winner's bracket, isn't it? This is the winner's bracket. I'm not sure I did a proper... Oh, no, I did I did my idiotic, terrible PC impression, didn't I? Yeah. Uh... He can troll blitz now. Now he's got a helper for him. That that, that was the problem with uh, with Andy's idea last turn. What it would have needed a four plus activation, and even even if it had worked, um, I just think basing the troll slayer wasn't enough. Maybe it would have been, you know. So like in Arian's two D off and then base. Maybe it wasn't that terrible, but I don't think it would have been enough. I think you've got to like, I think you've got to try for the big plays, um, you know, in, in these games. I think you have to. Oh, 
thanks Andy. I should put that in my uh, in my finals thing. So the loser oh it's Galentio they're they're playing. Oh god in Aryan another another elf team for an Aryan maybe. <laughs> But if he wins, lizards are, you know, totally... Oh, no, it's not. It's orcs, isn't it, Diamond? Yeah, orcs. Orcs are totally winnable for black orcs. Stride or art is a hell of a game, isn't it? In the winner's bracket. And I guess Dion Lord versus Chunter, I think, is the most interesting game in the loser's bracket. But and Cruz 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 and Devo on opposite sides as well, so that's interesting in the, in the loser's bracket. If if Art loses by the way, I have to play him again if I win through my games. Yes, yeah, I just saw that, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, that side of the draw looks a bit more stacked, I'd say, with Devo, Art, and Strider on the same in the same quarter. The other one has really just got Crucian, I think. When you, I guess, maybe it's Dion Lord, but like when you think of like combination of coach and team, I think some of the other teams have problems with them that let them down. Yep. Well, I've got Underworld next. Great. Uh, then I don't know. I don't know what Glentio and oh, oh, and then it's and then it's the loser of this. It's Glentio and the loser of this, mm. and then it would be Strider or Art. Yeah. So which, whichever one you get there is rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very rough. That's next Saturday. Yeah, it's against me, the loser. <laughs> oh, Galentio. <yeah. laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe no need to be that mean. But uh, <laughs> yes, the loser of this match. So. Oh, time out. It doesn't really matter. I guess it makes the drive a bit harder for the. But then actually, the the dwarves doesn't really affect it. It makes it a bit harder for the orcs to get the turnover, doesn't it? Actually. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't force the score because you're two 0 down. So you've got to just, you've got to turn the ball over. So you have got eight, seven turns to win, yeah, to tie up the game rather than eight. I think yeah. that's bad. Yeah. Well, I didn't even see this, uh, this Black Hawk get killed. Oh, flip me. Flip me, guys. Still got 11, though, hasn't he? Still got 11, but it's, uh, it's pretty rough. Uh, it's one of the tackle ones, who cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, though, isn't it? They're, they're just con relentlessly targeted because they haven't got the defensive skills. So, you know, maybe if that was a block guy, he'd still be in. Cause it, I, I mean, I don't know if it I don't, didn't even see him get KO'd, so it, it might not have been a board down. But it just, I guess it, psychologically you notice it more, but it's got to be a factor, hasn't it, that they're drawing every single blitz. So, like, yeah. one... One AV8 is almost like you know, for example, what what one a what one like unprotected guy is like having you know about five or six unprotected guys because he's just drawing the blitz if it's at all possible. Yeah, I I I think if I was taking this, I would just go seven block. I I, I think it's just you know, go on then pick on any of them. They're all they're all the same. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of the time, I, I value. Just guard and block in tournament teams over so much every, everything else. Yeah. Because they're just the two best skills in the game. Yeah. They're never wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, I really hate the Mighty Blow on the Slayer here. It's just like, it's just, let's hope a high roll. I think Mighty Blow tackle is much more important versus like the Underworld and stuff. Uh, you know, take out yeah. key players or, or just forego it for more guard. I think just six guard would have been fine.
Nope. Jesus, Inorian's out of time, like nearly out of time bank as well. This uh, really isn't going well for him. No, no, I, I, he hasn't started his time bank. <laughs> it it uh, it bugs out and has two minutes until you use any. Oh. oh okay. Yep. So he's he still has the full seven thirty. <laughs> I'm not sure Coltrip used any of his time bank at all versus Art earlier. I don't think he did. Maybe he should have done. <laughs> because it was it was not the best one turn defence you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, I I haven't watched that game, I haven't cast that game, and I've heard about the one turn defence in that game. Mm. Yeah. But I haven't seen it, so I, I can't comment. Yeah, it was it was terrible. It was so bad, in fact, that Artemis hadn't realised he'd clicked confirm because he wouldn't have expected anybody to stand up that way. So, so I was slating Art a little bit because his second, like his setup, wasn't very good for the one turn. But it's because he just literally didn't move for like a minute because he was just waiting for he was waiting for Coltrip to, to confirm that he, his defence <laughs> because there's no way he would have set up in rule of five, right? So yeah, that was. <laughs> oh right, it, it was literally a rule of five. Yeah, yeah, P oh. tight LOS rule of five. Literally, literally zero, one turn defense. I, he must have thought it was overtime as like the only explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's that bad, you're not expecting. I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh dear, that sucks as well because it's mm. you know, that actually is really important. Yeah, I think. I don't know, like, I don't know if he's, you know, like, mentally was gone for the day or whatever. Um, but, yeah, yeah, and it wasn't even just a tight LOS rule of five there. They were actually further back, so that thought he was completely free. It was so weird. Oh, he said that he thought it was OT. Yeah, it was the, the only explanation. Um, but, oh, I forgot I was, what I was going to say then. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> Yeah, that that I like. I think he'd zoned out as well, right? Because the previous turn he blitzed a, a snotling to score, and he had like about five free players, so he could have blocked off all the sidestep squares, and then blitzed. And he just he just blitzed. And okay, it was block and tackle, but like, come on, dude, we've we've all just rolled three pushes before, haven't we? Or pushes and skulls on three dice. Like, there was no reason not to fill them in. So I wonder if he was just like mentally shot be before that even, and that's you know why he thought it was uh, overtime. The mental aspect is certainly a, certainly a thing. Especially with uh, Chundran and Aryan. They're both mental. <laughs> Chundran normally finds something good, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he he, he found the uh, the he found a nice little one with the juggernaut, and not the juggernaut, the rat ogre and the, uh, the hit into the rat ogre to get into the cage versus an aria, but then just roll bad dice. <laughs> I often think if Chunter, like Chunter is clearly an incredibly good player, right? And and what I'm trying to get across is how Chunter gets to the next, like where does he go next to improve even further, and. So sometimes he spots stuff. I'm like, I didn't see that. That was brilliant. But he plays two variants for me too often. If he just toned it down and like took, you know, like like Art plays a lot of very conservative plays all the time, mm. he would have more consistent luck. Whereas Junta feels like he jumps around from from wildly brilliant to, well, that was never going to work because it was too. Yeah, let's start with two uphill and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know for mine it's just don't take every surf ever. <laughs> we all have something. Yeah, I think my one is is not trying very hard most of the time. You know, like the I think my autopilot is pretty terrible, and then that does lead to like you know sometimes making mistakes when it does matter, but. Uh, I think Art's got like the best autopilot of anybody, and uh, yeah, maybe that might, maybe mine autopilot is pretty pretty rubbish. But what can you do? 
Is he gonna? Uh, he can't surf, can he? But he could. He could like uphill. No, I don't know what he's doing. He can't surf here. Oh, he can, no, he can't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. What what is he doing? This is not a surf. <laughs> like if he was doing this for a surf, fair enough. But I guess he wow. just thinks he's got to do something. Yeah, he's, he's just trying to get the goblins around the ball and and see what happens. Mm. I guess. So I can see how you can surf your own dwarf. That, that I can see. <laughs> yes, yeah. Instant self-surf. Not such a good plan. <laughs> Absolutely assists for the self-surf to still be a thing. <laughs> Going for the self-surf. Oh my god, imagine if Rolled he did. Out. What a what a way what a way to uh, end your tournament that would be. <laughs> well no, they're they're in the winners bracket, so no one's going out after this game. We can just block everybody. Oh, I guess he can't. The trolls in a pretty good spot. So actually, it seemed a bit mental from Inarion, but actually, looking where the troll is, this is a bit tricky to get safe, isn't it? Yeah. And he's going to have three big ones. Or black, sorry, black orcs next to the turn. That ball's not safe. It can't be safe. No, unless he just runs back. Maybe just run back. Doesn't have back. Maybe just fully run back. Yeah, because he's as long as the troll doesn't st stupid, he's 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 got in. The free free black orc can get around the back. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough to me. I I, I didn't hear his setup for all the time, but yeah, for a for a one turn, yeah, he just runs back. And if these were lizards, that'd still be a prop. No. <laughs> yeah, it would, wouldn't it? It actually would be a problem if they were lizards. Oh, he brought. Oh no. Yeah, he's, no, he's, he's literally ball. hitting the ball with the crocs. If this was a crocs, oh my god, he's he's got a brawler it. Oh no, he's okay. He's blocked. Got a brawler this one. Nothing. You can push. Oh no, pull it back and then. Fill in the square, and the troll then gets pushed forward. One, two, three, oh, you can base. No, you can just base with the troll. You can surf a player. Not terrible. Yeah. Removal. So double removal from the troll is pretty good. Just need to reinforce this side. So this is actually pretty good now. Used a lot of rerolls to get there. But the double surf here... Yeah, double surf, very nice. Move this guy about 10 hours ago, please, over there. <laughs> oh, no removal, he used the apple, yeah. But it, it, he rolled the removal, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I guess he thought it was. I guess he could block. I don't think you want to block. I think you want to move this guy over here. I definitely want this guy moved over here. I hate this one guy on two here. I, I don't like this. No. no. I know, I know it's good getting extra block and stuff, but maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's not too bad. My instinct was no. it's bad, but... I don't like it because the goblin in the, in the um, middle um, is going to get smushed next turn, and that's going to give him a three for one on that crappy tackle player. Mm. Oh, he's basing the ball? He was trying to base the ball... I mean, basing the ball is pretty good, and then especially if you... Uh, maybe you should just... No, that's a 3+, plus. he's got tackle. Maybe you could still just dodge him off to base the ball first. Yeah, I really like moving that guy over, and then punch yeah. the guard. The tackle's going to go down next. He's, a, he's alive, it's fine. This is fine. Yeah. And the tackle does go down because he hasn't got block. Yeah. Mm. These these guys have been abused this game. 
But yeah, you know, look, it, it did get him here by doing some things. That, well, arguably got him here by doing some things against Chunter. And like, honestly, no, no disrespect to Chunter, but like, you know, Skaven were not a team. I don't think you should have been concerned about, right? Because they just, I just don't think. Even though you know Chunter's going to use Skaven, you know one of the top sixteen is guaranteed to be on Skaven. <laughs> Um, like you know, the chance of you drawing him, and the chance of your your tackles being good, is just so much lower than like the chance of you facing lizard men and your tackle being useless. Well, no, it's actually useless against the orcs or, or dwarves, and, orcs, and it being orcs, useless. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I took frenzy for that exact reason, which was frenzy is going to be useful in all matchups, no matter what, and I would have loved a tackle in some of the matchups, like, I've, I've got to play potentially three of the four Underworlds. <laughs> Would have been nice having the tackle, but no. Um, but I don't regret the Frenzy, now, even now. Yeah, no, I like it. It's Ooh. dubious whether I would have taken the Troll. I mean, maybe an, an Apothecary. Trade the Troll out, trade it down for a tro uh, for an Apothecary. Yeah. But I've been cross when the stupid thing hasn't behaved itself, but... Extra strength. Yeah, it's, it. it's a really tough call, isn't it? Like the the extra strength versus like lizards and shit and dwarves. Getting that extra having that extra strength on the pitch is really good. But then on the other hand, the reliability and like it was so awful against art, wasn't it? When it's just stood there and you've got to like run a run a big and over next to it, and then it doesn't activate, and you're like, oh Christ! I mean, and I know things had gone south before then, really, but but still, like when the chips are down, the trolls just awful, Good isn't friend. it? Yeah. It's really interesting watching these and, and not playing in them because I'm thinking about the turn ordering so much here and the, the number of turns, if you took any individual turn and said, right, is the turn ordering absolutely perfect? <laughs> and, and there's been a number of turns where mechanically, it's not, you know, not the decision making, it's not that the choices are bad, it's the order of the choices ha could have been just better, more efficient. Yep. Oh man, he's still getting his trash dice this game in Arian, flip me. Does he GFI here? This is a really cool GFI from the troll, isn't it? To get him in behind there, that's that's causing a bunch of problems, I think. Yeah. Where he's standing here, it's not terrible, but it, you know, the GFI is massive. Yeah, get the, get the goblin up that's lying down, do it in, in just no man's land, go and stand it. You know, towards the ball, it's free, doesn't require a dice roll. Mm -hmm. You're not going for it with that goblin. And in fact, he's put it in the exact where I, I was I was thinking about, that's where he's going to put it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's true, Dimmy, it is 1am, but you see it in every single game, honestly. I, I said that from the start of the tournament. I said, if you were in a discord, a discord, a discord call with somebody who was brand new to Blood Bowl and the only thing they knew was safe moves first and they kept saying to you at the start of your turn safe moves first, stand up your players you know, and do your moves and stuff, if, if that would improve the play of literally everybody in the tournament and it would have, it would have done and that's why I went out, right, versus Galentio after, after saying, you know, after saying it it's because I was going to do my safe moves first and then because I, I had a plan and then I changed my plan but I'd only done half, one of my three safe moves <laughs> before I thought about my plan because I might have used them in the other plan that I didn't do, so because I was going to maybe use them in the other plan, once I switched plans I should have stood them up and if I had stood them up maybe I don't, well I I probably don't concede the touchdown versus Galentio. Might still lose the game, but probably don't lose the uh, don't lose the touchdown that turn. So he does make he does get the huge GFI in there. And now this is a bit of a pickle, bit of a pickle for Hiru. Yeah. What? Why don't you in, in the next game? Right, in the next turn, right? So Inarian's next turn, and we should do one for uh, Hiru as well. <laughs> Go right. This is what I would do, and and see like what is safe moves first, and then watch what they do and see how much of a difference there is because. At the moment, there's this you know, commentator's perception bias that that's what's going on. I, I strongly think it is happening, but and it would demonstrate to chat quite how much it's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's massively, massively. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's not massively, but like more times per game than it should. 
<laughs> basically, because it should be non, shouldn't it? Even though I know like none of us are pro gamers or anything, it it really should be non. Like you know, you should. Have, but it just happens. It does happen that you have a plan and then you change it, and you know that you should probably go somewhere, but then you think I'll just see what happens with this two dice block. Do you know what I mean? Like that's that's a classic, isn't it? Let's just see what let's see what happens if I if you know if I power this guy or. Or whatever, and you know there is sometimes payoff to that, isn't there? Like you know, knowing that you've got a pal now, you can it will give you having more information later is good. So it is a bit it, hard to uh, work out it, in that regard. Yeah, it's a it's a balancing act between um, in the turn previous would be that goblin just walked three squares diagonally and stood in exactly the square <laughs> that you, me, and half of chat would have put him in. That's a safe move. That's yes. not negotiable. Go and do that. Yes. You know, I'll go do that. Yeah. But and the, and the, the one the, that helped the troll. Yeah. Those two yeah. first. Yeah. And, but the go for it from the troll. So you could, that's not necessarily a safe move first because, well, I'm going to roll a dice. So you've got to split out the combination of the, get, the, the things that you're going to do that roll dice based on other dice rolls and yes. flat, just fucking do it. <laughs> safe moves. Because they are different. Yep. This isn't totally safe here. No, I don't see where he can go. <laughs> and I guess he doesn't either. Okay, blitzes him. Oh. It's block. He doesn't knock him over. Oh, he gets the push. Hiru finally uses a reroll. <laughs> He's not got anywhere safe to go, though. Not really, is the, there? The two Black Hawks are going to grab those two just out of the way. He's got to run backwards again. He's got to. Yeah. That's not close, though. Nowhere near far enough back. <laughs> and then even that, the two um, goblins might be able to go and do something naughty. Mm. That's not out of range. If that um, in the tram outside the tram lines, the edge blackhawk throws a petal. I think it's just enough, right? This this one can't get around. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI. Uh, I guess okay. he could chain. He could, he could dodge in the goblin, right? He could dodge in the goblin to get the chain, and then he could go around what? that way. Yeah, what could you do with the T shape? Oh, he doesn't even need no. to. He can just block with a troll. The troll could block there, and then bring in a yeah, goblin. Fill in that square. Yeah, yep. and then and then chain him to there, block him, and then one, two, three, four, GFI. Yeah, that's the play. Yep. But first, think what you're going to do with these two goblins, <laughs> and stand this guy up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that so the t so the tackle needs to stand up, right? It's not blitzing; it can just stand up. So yeah. that's definitely the opening of the turn. Yeah. Then, then you could say, well, just for saving mental capacity, we'll throw the block on the edge flank because I need to know whether that's a power or not. Yeah. It's not a power. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, He's got grab. He's got grab. Oh, okay. So it's essentially a power anyway, isn't it? I think. Um, if the slayer's right. here, it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's essentially yeah. He didn't didn't need a pal. It's fine. But he still should have stood this guy up first. He yep. ain't blitzing. And then this two. Yeah, so he's seen the play. He's but this guy should have already stood up. Okay, no, he didn't see the. No, no, there's no. Yeah, oh my God, I'm being stupid. No, yeah, it was. It, it wasn't the troll. Okay, so I'm not sure about it. If he's, he can't blitz with a tackler though, because this guy's right here. <laughs> but that's again that stand. And no, and actually, if he, if he blitzes with the block guy into that guy. Oh then no can, no oh, no he's... no! Look at that! He's chained him out that way. Okay. This is pretty nice. He did need the power there. No, because he can't reach. No, he can't reach. No, he's still. Oh yeah, no, it was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Brawler. Oh. Yeah, and the push isn't good enough. No, okay, so doing it the other way was better, but this was fine. And it is, it is Dimmy says, it's 1am and stuff. It's not easy for them, is it? it it's, it's definitely not easy. And if, if anyone in the chat is thinking about how on earth you get better, um, I, I think one of the things you can go and do is watch games back and look at all your moves like this and say, well, screw making a better plan. Could I have just done the plan I did better? Yeah. Oh man, he could have jumped. Five plus jump. <laughs> Double GFI, let's go. I don't think that was very good, but he could have done. I can tell you where uh, three plus jumps are shit and they don't work. <laughs> yeah. So he uses Blitz there to, to get this guy centre. 
leaves a goblin this on the nice. player. Yeah, this is pretty decent. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, tick goes away from the Slayer. Okay, so lots of dice roll there. Only got two turns left now in our inner skull, though, so he's he's in very much in a pickle. I think he had to do the, the play of the blocking of the troll first and then chain the Slayer away, but I guess he just didn't see it. Yeah, Whereas, so Jimmy, you're saying it like this is like daft o'clock. Yes, and I think not seeing plays is different. So yeah, I, I don't think I play very well at 1 a.m., um, so props to an arm for even playing this at this time, right? It's hard. It is super, super hard. I don't know if they either of them played today. I think they both played earlier, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they both played an early day. So that's good that they've only got to play the one game today, not like... <laughs> oh, no, on, oh, no, it was earlier, wasn't it? And I played at 10 a.m. today. Yeah, 10 a.m. today. Yeah, all right, all right, Dimmy, all right. But they didn't play today, as in the the five o'clock game and stuff, right? Uh, and and Anorians had shockingly bad dice in in, in yeah, this. He's, he has, he's rolled yeah. on a, a chunk of bad dice. So, just to be clear, I'm not hating on Anorian or anything like that. I think yeah, just just pointing out that he could have done some things differently, um, but so could an awful lot of people. Ooh, he takes the push because he wants to protect the runner. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got tackle. He's got tackle. No, oh, he's got tackle. Oh my god, I thought it was a blitzer. I don't know why. <laughs> Flip me. I mean, I know dwarves. I know dwarves have tackle. <laughs> Long beards. I don't know why I thought it was a blitzer. That's so weird. Does he geify to make it three D? Can't. It can't be a good nah. idea, can it? So he has to go nah. there. But I mean, isn't it, this? This is leaving an easy black hole kit if he. If he doesn't move him there, he's got to move him. He's got to move. Oh, this is hard. He's got to move him here. No, you, I think. You block and follow with the runner. Okay. So you, yeah. You, and then you can go and stand in the square. You've got your cursor in now. Yeah. Yeah. And that—that's the best of both worlds. Uh, oh, so he doesn't do the GFI. No, I think he had to do the GFI. Yeah. Gets the AV break right. though, so it doesn't matter. So he's got this. He's got this goblin here. To come for the assist, and then he's got a yeah, go. black orc coming through. Yeah. Four. And it's a 3D from the troll. Safe moves first, 3D. No, I guess safe moves first is this goblin, maybe just standing yeah. up. I think I think you might get away with not standing the goblin up because it might have somewhere more useful to go. And this is turn fifteen. I, like I don't. I don't think so because ah, I guess you can block this guy first. There's no, so you have to block the trot. So you can stand him up and block with this guy for this guy first to push him away, and then you can block with this guy. But you have to drop block with a troll first, right? So probably the safest move is standing him. Oh no, he's he's tackle. Oh. <laughs> you've got to you're you going to use the troll in this action in this sequence, so and start you have no choice. So let's just start with it. Get it done. Oh, he just he blocks him with a goblin. I, I'd like to see the goblins being in scoring threats because if I'm a hero here, I know. Yeah, look, there's a troll slayer just off the bottom of the screen. Yeah. That that is a serious problem. If I'm a hero, yeah. I'm just I don't care. You can I'll give you the ball if you've only got one scoring threat because I'm gonna smash the scoring threat in the face. I guess the problem he was thinking like if he rolls a one, then he can't hit it at all, yeah. right? And and I guess now he can go and try and GFI to base the troll slayer. I guess that's what he's thinking. The 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 absolute failure of the of the of the troll stupid would have been terrible, wouldn't it? The the thing that you said at the start of the at the end of the first half about you know some plays that you can make in ladder versus stuff you kind of have to do in this. This is one of those. I think you just have to do the the slightly riskier, but the because you're going to lose. You're losing this game. Yeah. You have to do something a little bit more adventurous. Yeah. I mean, you have to have the you have to have the goblin here, and you have to you have to like cancel this assist. So I guess you have to cancel that assist with the troll anyway. So the troll is going to activate. So what we're saying, the troll has to activate no matter what. Oh, the, just he just troll blitzes. He just troll. He's troll blitzing. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Well done, Dimmy. It just took us way too long to see that. Yeah. He's he's, he's just he's just troll blitzing, and then yeah. yeah. 
So that's why you hit with a goblin, yeah. So yep. that's not an example of safe moves, that's an example of you know, literally us in the commentary booth have one way of playing this out, and then he's gone, nah, screw that, I'm doing it like this way. That's fine. Yep. So now this guy can tag, and then the, the troll can blitz. Yep. Man. Oh, he, ma he makes the uh, makes the stupid. Ah, oh, oh. diced. Accepts the both down. The problem here is one scoring threat. Yeah, you've got, you've got to dodge that other one out, haven't you? You have to, as, as horrible as it is. You just you have to. Oh. Oh no. Well, well yeah, that's easy. And kind of it, isn't it? You smash the scoring threat in the face. If you knock it over, you've won. Well, not necessarily. You've almost won. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So the troll can throw someone. Yeah, this one here. <laughs> Doesn't need to knock it over, though. Wow, well, he he pals it. So obviously, Hiru put put the. Uh, I'm surprised oh. that he. Uh, not Avi breaks. Still a scoring threat. He used the reroll, didn't he? He didn't just take the push and do the second hit. That's weird. Yeah. I think he was going to throw all eight dice at that. It's still, yeah, it's still yeah, a scoring threat. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, and a push is even better, right? Yeah, if he pushes it and then hits it again, it's better to stop making... Yeah, that could be a mistake. Yeah, that could have been a mistake. Can Black Hawks pass at all? Yeah, five plus. Big ones can't pass, can they? No. But Black Hawks can. Terribly, but they can. <laughs> I guess they can't pick it up very well in the rain. Yeah, I mean that's the, that's the that's the argument. Yeah, having eight dice at it instead of instead of six. I, I hadn't it's actually considered meant. the in, initial. I'll take the push and then I'll do something. But I equally, I wouldn't have rerolled the first block almost no matter what. I'd have just taken the six dice. Because I don't want to be st stupid. At, you know, get Oh, look, double skulls. Enjoy yeah. your being fucked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot safer to just take it. And then and then you've got to re-roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have never re-rolled that. But fair enough. It did give him the, the chance of eight dice. Mm. He's in a bit of a bind now. Mm. So he doesn't want to two-uphill the troll. Because it's got block. He can't stand there. Does he dodge? And if he dodges, he puts the ball on the floor and suddenly makes the whole thing a whole heap easier. Yeah. Hello, red hair. Yeah, he's all right. Okay, he does do the dodge. Does make it. Flip me. Huge. I mean, it's eight out of nine. It works, doesn't it? But man, that was that was a really that could have been so costly. It was a big yeah. ballsy move, wasn't it? Big boy move that. Whew. Um, I don't like that. No. The, re the reason I don't like it is because now you're saying to an Aryan, okay, dodge that big one, punch it in the face, and, just and then the goblin goes and picks the ball up. Yeah. It, it's four, you've made, you've left, you've turned all of this complicated <laughs> stuff into four plus, two plus, two plus, three maybe, plus with a reroll, three maybe, plus with a reroll. Maybe not four plus. <laughs> maybe not four plus, maybe troll block, big and in, goblin dodge. Chain him forward. Oh yeah. I think I think you've got to try and chain him forward here because it, it cuts out a GFI as well as uh, making like the the goblin dodge. Obviously, it sucks that it's three plus three tackle, but I think you know you'd rather three plus three tackle and likely power him, wouldn't you? And you cut, and you save yourself a GFI on, on top, right? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Well, I guess it's cost you a GFI, I guess, for the with a goblin. Yeah, so, so you're doing a three-two instead of a four-two. Doing it if you get the power, which you only get the power fifty-five percent of the time. <laughs> Maybe it's better just to dodge. 
<laughs> Honestly, it's one of those where you think it's a good idea, and maybe it is. With the reroll, maybe maybe makes it better. I guess. Yeah, maybe maybe the reroll makes it better. It doesn't get the power. Yeah. Yeah. Put that through Tumblr. Oh, he gets the 4 plus dodge. Gets the GFI. Dub skulls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Anarion. Classic. Classic Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, flip me. Right, so f the, the play with the dodging the big one, um was 43% likely to work with a reroll. 20% without. No. <laughs> oh man. He was thirty percent likely to make it without spending the reroll to be able to just throw the thing. So the be best play was dodge the big one. It was just right. dodge the big one. There you go. There you go. Uh, but it was a nice little idea, wasn't it? <laughs> it's one of those things where you see it and think, "Well, this is better." Like generally, uh, generally adding more dice to a thing is better when you've got a reroll, isn't it? It is a black oak. The whole team of black oaks, very good in Arian. Um, in Arian, very good. Yeah, it is in Arian. I thought it was Kalon. I thought Kalon was saying that for some reason, but in Arian's in chat, commiserations in Arian. Uh, those. Those tackles were uh, were very, 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 very bad in this game, weren't they? But you know, you can argue, you can argue they got, they got you there, um, and we've got a second chance in the losers bracket. And Hiru gets the win, goes through with dwarves, really making me feel sad that dwarves are dominating here. Um, <laughs> if only I'd got a bit more luck in some of the games, but there you go. Uh, and and that's it. Thank you very much, Andy Davos, joining me in the booth after a long day of playing Blood Balls. Thank you very much indeed for having me on. Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.